Hello everybody, Carl Larson here with another workflow enhancing After Effects tutorial for you. So here's the deal, I like making stuff in After Effects. It's way more fun than talking about what to do with your projects once they're completed. But since just about every other After Effects tutorial out there focuses on showing you how to make cool stuff, I'm going to take a break from this theme in this and potentially the next couple tutorials to focus on how to keep tabs on your content from end to end in a project. Because if all of those other tutorials we've made so far are working, and you're successfully creating content in After Effects, you'll eventually have to do something about archiving your projects. And knowing how to properly back up your projects is a must for any serious After Effects user. So let's focus our attention on this tutorial on archiving a project and dealing with shared assets. So here's the scenario. You and a couple other animators are working together on a project where you'll be in charge of making different animations while referencing the same assets. This is a really common thing when you're all sharing the same logo, character rig, or common graphic elements on an extended project. Typically, each animator will add their own assets as necessary to their project, but either way, several comps will have a shared core of assets between them. So assuming you've got three animators on the job, we'll end up with three partial projects that we'll want to reconcile into one master project that we'll archive at the end. This way, if you have to go back and do any modification in the future, you don't have to remember which shot came from which project or whose system. You can simply grab one file off the shelf and have everything at your fingertips. So the first thing we'll do is open up a new project and import all three project files from our animators into it. So go to File, Import, File. Navigate to the files you want to import and click Open. Now each of our previously separate After Effects projects are in one master After Effects project file. This is a good start. Now let's take a look at each comp to see if it's come across in After Effects appropriately. This will also be our opportunity to get familiar with the footage. So comp 1 is pretty basic, but it's looking good. Comp 2 is a little more interesting, adds in a 3D camera, and it looks like all the animation's in place. And comp 3 is the same thing, but ooh, ouch. I can't say it about the writer, but it looks like our animation came across just fine. Anyways, as you can tell, each composition is using the same assets, but in a slightly different way. So it shouldn't be a surprise then, as we look at our structure of each individual project, that we have the same source material and solids in each imported folder. Now to keep things organized, we'll rearrange the assets in our project window, so that we have two main folders, one for our comps and the other for our assets. And finally, we'll transfer all of the solids into one folder as well. So I'll click on the Create New Folder button and quickly rearrange the project. If this were a larger, more complicated scenario, we'd want to further arrange things into logical subfolder categories like final comps, pre-comps, and sort our media by asset type to get a global perspective on the project. So like we mentioned before, we have three copies of our source footage and each of them are individually linked to the comps that they came from. Which means, as I'm rearranging things, I may be tempted to simply delete the two extra folders of assets to clean up the project. And if I do that, bad things will happen. So let me show you. If I select any one of the layer elements in an individual assets folder and right click on it to reveal which composition it's currently being used in, I can see that everything's working fine in that comp. But the moment I go and try to delete the folder of assets, even though I have the exact same asset sitting right next to it in the project window, I'm not just deleting the reference to the asset. I'm actually deleting layers that are being used directly for my composition. So yeah, this is bad. And if I didn't have the composition open that the file references when I did this, I could very well destroy an animation altogether without even realizing it. So yeah, let's undo that decision. Command Z and find a better solution. To get around this problem, we'll instead use the Consolidate Files command from the File menu. So with nothing selected in the project window, which means it'll affect all comps and not just a limited selection, choose File, Consolidate All Footage. We can see that After Effects has eliminated 29 extra file or folder references from the original state. So now, both our asset references as well as our repeated solids have been consolidated into singular references in our project. Now that things have been shuffled around, we can go ahead and delete the empty folders from our previous assets which have been left behind. You can verify this process worked correctly by clicking through our comps again and seeing that all of our layers are still in place. Now our archive is smaller and everything's kind of behaving the way it should be. Alright, but now that we've got everything organized and consolidated, the next thing we'll want to do is collect our files to archive the project. And just to demonstrate all of the relevant options in the dialog box, I'm going to point out that I've got a composition already sitting in the render queue. This will make sense in a second. Also, I'm going to select one of our comps, say the second composition, before we go ahead and choose a collect files command. So with that done, let's go to File, Collect Files. Since we haven't saved our project yet, After Effects will prompt us to save before we can proceed. Essentially, 
The Collect Files command will gather the files associated with the project regardless of where they are in your local system, network, or external drives. And it'll copy everything into one unique location on your computer. This way, you don't have to manually hunt around on your system looking for any stray assets. Of course, this may not seem like a big deal on such a small project, but this is a huge time saver on a larger job. It's also reassuring to have After Effects collect everything when you may have several hundred files referenced in a project. Otherwise, you're almost guaranteed to miss one or two pieces of the puzzle if you attempt to do this manually. So anyways, that's the big idea. Collecting files gets everything in one place and creates a project file and a text report to go along with it. Now let's look at some of our options on how to actually get there. The first option is All. As you'd expect, this collects all footage files in the project window, including unused footage and proxies for the archive. Assuming you don't have any large, unused assets sitting in your project, this is usually the best choice. And certainly it's the safest option when archiving. For all comps, this collects the footage files and proxies used in any composition in the project, but it'll eliminate any unused footage from the archive. So this is a good option for cleaning things up if you dropped a whole ton of assets in After Effects, but only used a few of them in your final work. For selected comps, this collects all footage files and proxies used in compositions for just the currently selected comps in the project panel. So this option would have been grayed out if we hadn't selected a composition before choosing the Collect Files command. This operation is a great way to quickly send everything associated with one composition to another machine. For queued comps, this collects all footage files and proxies used directly or indirectly in any of the compositions with the queued status in the Render Queue panel. Again, this option would be grayed out if we didn't have any unrendered items in the Render Queue. None. This copies a project to a new location without collecting any source footage. This may sound exactly like the Save As command, but it will actually get you a text report with your project, which can be a very useful thing. Next, we can select other options as appropriate, but I'll only point to a couple more of the commonly used features. Generate Report Only. Selecting this option doesn't copy files or proxies, but instead creates a text report listing several key attributes about the project. This is a great way to double check if a project will require any third-party plugins or non-standard fonts before moving to another machine or burning it to disk. The report is saved as a text file within your archive folder. You can add any additional comments to the text report by clicking on the Comments button, adding in some text, and clicking OK. The comments appear at the end of the report. Reduce Project. This removes unused footage files and compositions from the collected files when either For All Comps or For Queued Comps is selected. This is another way to effectively reduce the size of your final archive files. Okay, now that we have a good idea of what everything does, let's change back to All and click Collect. After Effects will prompt you to choose a save location and specify a name for the archive folder. Choose something meaningful like Snowmobile Project Archive and click OK. Once you start the file collection, After Effects creates a folder and copies everything we just specified into it. One thing to note here is that the folder hierarchy of the footage folder will be the same as the hierarchy of folders and footage items in your project window. So remember to take the time to get things organized in After Effects before you run the Collect Files command. Otherwise, you'll end up with a messy footage folder in your archive. Okay, with that, we're almost done. You can now take the folder After Effects created containing your project file, all of your associated footage and text report, and burn it off to a disk, transfer it to another workstation, or copy it to another hard drive for safekeeping. And even better, if your client comes back and wants to extend what you've done into a multi-project campaign based on your previous work, you already have a logically organized, self-contained place from which you can immediately begin. And believe me, that's a whole lot better than having to go back and say to them you lost a project asset because you didn't archive properly. So even though we didn't do any animation this time, I hope you found this tutorial to be a helpful addition to your After Effects knowledge. At the very least, you can be assured that if somebody's going to lose their head over a botched archive, it's not going to be you which is a whole lot better than I can say about this guy. Sorry, dude. So until next time, I'm Carl Larson for creativecow.net.